has been designed in this place. To build a slab track, the first step will be to extend the masked concrete layer on the platform instead of the ballast. On top of it, a second reinforced concrete is built later, along with special sleepers that will be embedded in this layer. The first layer of concrete is built with two concrete pavers. These machines are fed with concrete through an internal vibration process and a sliding profile, producing a layer of high consistency. Each paver's productivity is around 400 meter per day for a single track. After the concrete is dry, a reinforced steel net is installed and the sleepers are placed on top. These sleepers differ to the ones utilized in the ballast track. The Reda system consists of a special bi-block sleepers. The sleepers are placed across the concrete slab and goes under extremely accurate leveling as they need to remain in the final position before pouring the second layer of concrete. To keep the sleepers in the right place, they get previously fixed to 25 meter rail segments. Pouring the second layer of concrete is a particularly manpower intensive task that involves several groups of 15 people working simultaneously and in a precise coordination. A mold has to be created by placing frames along the section of the rail where the concrete will be poured. Using series of spindles, the tracks are carefully leveled to their final position and then the second layer of concrete is poured, vibrated and leveled to form a solid slab. The final result will be a ballastless track, the chosen system for those areas with high occurrence of sandstorms. This brief explanation summarizes the main steps that comprehend the track works of the project. However, at the same time, others work simultaneously on the catenaries, signaling and systems, joining the effort of hundreds of professionals, working day and night, bringing a state-of-the-art technology which will set a present in the world's transport